our first guest is a two-time Emmy Award winner. He is Eric Stone Street. I love him. And Eric is here to share some holiday cheer with the Tan fam. Of course, we all love him for the laughs that he gave us and the heart, of course, as Cameron Tucker, the sensitive, bubbly, outgoing husband of Mitchell on the hit ABC series that I never missed an episode, Modern Family. <laughs> but buckle up, because Eric is taking on a new role as Santa Claus's rowdy alter ego, Magnus Antis also known as Mad Santa, in the new series of the hit show, The Santa Clauses on Disney Plus. Here's your peek. I see you brought your little wooden boy with you. How sweet. All due respect, you're at my desk. No, this is my desk. Actually, my name is right there. It says Santa, not weird, ancient creep. Well, joke's on you, because I just use my Santa magic, which I have, because I'm the one true Santa to adjust the nameplate. So you have just affirmed that it is, in fact, my desk. Santa, please welcome Emmy Award winning actor and just a great guy, Eric Stone Thank you. So first of all, your boots are amazing. Thank you. Thank you They're very much for snazzy. noticing. I, uh, as Cameron Tucker on Modern Family, I was married in an exact pair of these, but in black. Oh, really? Yeah. So it becomes your signature a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's, it's my to... signature look that I bring into uh, Cameron's world, er, would bring into Cameron's world every once in a while. I love that. You know what? Speaking of your world, your philosophy, I've been, this, this is a quote that I read from People Magazine. I just love this. It said, I try to navigate life in a way that is never serious unless it has to be. Yeah. I thought that was such a beautiful sentiment. Well, we all go through family crisis, health, and, and everything, and I've always just tried to to bring a levity that I've always brought, that my parents always knew me as, as a kid, you know, being a funny kid. So you were the funny kid? Uh, yeah, I, I or think. Or did you think you were funny? Well, I thought I was funny. <laughs> I thought I was funnier than a lot of people probably <laughs> thought I was. I was the kid in school that always had on uh, his report card, there's a time and a place for everything. There's a time and a place. Okay, we are kindred spirits, yeah. because I feel that was on my, it was like, I talked at inappropriate times. That's me. That's you? But that, that I posted after uh, my dad passed yeah. away and said, uh, he always had my back. Oh. He always did. When you look back at memories like that, I mean, this is a he picture. He just got me with that picture. I wasn't expecting that picture. Oh. Yeah, thank you. When you look back at your child, I know you and Lindsay, your wife, who's a pediatric nurse. Yep. I mean, you live in Kansas City. Yeah, there we are. Uh, <laughs> what a beautiful couple. You live in Kansas City where you were born and raised. Yeah. And then looking at that little boy with that hula hoop and watching the man you are today. Yeah. It's just, you're going to get me in my feelings now. Because I, you know what I tell people? I love people who love where they're from. Well, I'm a product of all those people where I'm from. You know, I grew up around um, great people, earnest people. And then mm -hmm. I moved to Hollywood where, uh, shockingly, uh, people aren't different. as real as you might <laughs> believe. Uh, you know, I've, I've been so happy to retether myself to where I'm from, yeah. which is Kansas City. Because that's you with tending yeah. to a goat back yeah. in the day. Were you in like 4-H? I or was something? in 4-H. I was in 4-H, Oh, too. my gosh. Yes, 4-H. Not me. Yeah, there I am showing my pigs. Oh, my God. Oh, Look yeah. at my pleated jeans. Oh. Wait. <laughs> those are, are pleated jeans. <laughs> they are pleated. They made those. So what are you thinking in that photo? God, I look good in these jeans. <laughs> So colorful, no pun intended. Yeah. I mean, you wanted to be a clown. You actually worked as a clown for a while. Oh, yeah, I was Fizbo the Clown when I was 11 years old. Yeah, there I am, young Fizbo. Same hair. Same hair. <laughs> 
It's so funny where you talk about leaving Kansas and going to Hollywood and all the interesting people that you run into in show business. Mm. You hit the jackpot, though, with the Modern Family cast. Yeah. Three weeks ago, you posted a picture <laughs> of a reunion. Yeah. I think it was the first time y'all had seen each other in four years. That group of people. I hadn't seen the kids. I hadn't yeah. seen Aubrey since we wrapped. Oh, my God. Since you wrapped. Since we wrapped three and a half years ago. Yeah. That's the cast. That's Chris Lloyd on the right. Chris Lloyd's one of the creators, and then Steve Levitan in the middle. And then I brought that picture of Ty because it was an improv. Ty Burrell, the actor. Ty so, Burrell. And you have it in the picture in a frame, and you set off a firestorm. Yeah. People, people thought, thought he, he died. People thought he died. <laughs> so you, it's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so Imagine Ty <laughs> reading all this. It's like, wait, am I in heaven right now? <laughs> Did I die? What? What were you thinking? We when... weren't thinking anything there, but then when we look back at it, it's like, well, we are all in dark clothes. <laughs> and we all are in front of a giant bouquet of flowers on Sophia's coffee table. <gasps> and we're holding up a picture of the only cast member not there. <laughs> Wait a minute, did Ty Burrell die? And are we at his memorial right now? Did you call him and explain? Well, no, because it was the day after. I think Jesse posted something. It's like, no, Ty's not dead. But, you know, yeah, I well, mean. Well, in the photo you pick, it looks, you know, easel ready for, yeah. like, the funeral <laughs> service. Let's, I, I want to talk about the, this bad Santa. That's a lot of responsibility mm, yes. to play a bad Santa. Yeah. You're dashing dreams. Well, I was excited to get to play Santa Claus. I was a little nervous when they said I was the mad Santa, but uh, I relaxed into the role, and there's redemption coming of for course, the mad Santa. It's Disney after all, so there will be a, a heartwarming moment. Right. And I'm only upset because I've been frozen in a nutcracker for hundreds of years. <laughs> I mean, Who how, how would you, Matt, how would you feel, right? Do you feel that you were destined to play this role? Because I understand as a kid, they have some pictures, more pictures of your past. I here. know. I mean, we um, really went into the Stone Street archive <laughs> here. Um, you know, yeah. with the clown thing, yeah. I, I wanted to perform for kids and I wanted to entertain people, and that kind of goes along with the whole Santa Claus. Yeah. So I asked my dad and mom if they could make me up a Santa suit so I could like perform for my nieces and nephews and other people. And I had a Santa suit when I was 17 years old. Cut to the picture. No, uh <laughs> <laughs> First of all, you look, you're, that's a decent Santa Oh, my, my dad's store had a f uh, fabric, so that's, that's real velvet. I mean, that's... Right, no, that's like legit Santa. Yeah, and I have a real pet peeve with bad Santa suits. You know, it's so funny. Our season um, 2024, as we look ahead, it's, we're saying 2024, 2020 more. Mm. And you've had so many phenomenal things. What do you look forward to the most? And I don't, I don't ask about New Year's resolutions. Yeah. That's tricky territory mm. these days. But when you look at this kid from Kansas, yeah. goes to L.A. and then just finds this magical job, but then just keeps bringing magic and joy to all your fans. Well, I'm enjoying being out. You know, we were just out on the street here for a little while, and, and, and people are nice enough to come up to me and introduce themselves. And it, I just told the guys that I was with, it's like, well, I guess we're... I'm still on TV a lot. People right. are still recognizing me. Uh, and it is one of those shows that people will remember. So I hope that uh, if, the, if the thing is right, the time is right, that I can find another project that will bring people uh, as much joy. We'll never duplicate yeah. Modern Family. It'll never happen again. But uh, the, 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 the luxury Modern Family uh, awarded me is that I can sit back and pick and choose what I want to do and yes. when I want to do it, which is why I was so excited to do the Santa Claus. You made a great choice. Another yeah. thing for us to watch and fall in love with you at the redemptive end yes. of Mad Santa's you'll, you'll, journey. You'll, 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 like, you'll <laughs> like Magnus at the end. Well, listen, we love you so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can catch the new season of the Santa Claus is on Disney+.